Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. We're going to be talking about this video or reacting to it by Andrew Tate. The title is How to Use Your Friends to Get Rich. So check this video out. I get so many people message me saying, Tate, how did you make money? And I tell them how to make money and they, they just stop replying because they don't like the answer. I say, how many friends do you have? They say, well, I've got, I've got a lot of friends. I said, okay, when you meet with your friends, what do you talk about? I say, oh, we talk about whatever's going on at the moment or we talk about football, we talk about whatever else. I say, fuck that off. Anyone who doesn't talk about money, don't talk to. Me and my friends, every single time we sit down, talk about money. That's it. I'll let you start this one off. I, I really like this video, but I know you want to get into it. Oh, yeah, I do. I've Alex, I mean, you know, you know this, and you always tell me, Kirby, you you don't act in real life how you do on YouTube. <laughs> and you're right. You're right. I try to be PG-13. I try to conform to, you know, the guidelines and rules that's out there, you know, because I know people get hurt feelings often. But what he said right here is something I wholeheartedly believe in. I believe 100 percent. If you have people around you, family included, and they don't is not focused on the same agenda as me, I don't deal with them. And what I mean by don't deal with them, if it's, you know, let's say, if this is like a family dinner, I will go there, eat, say my pleasantries, hi and stuff, and then I'm leaving. I'm not going to sit there and veg out and spend hours just for the sake of love to be around people that's not trying to progress. Every conversation and people always say, Kirby, why are you a hermit? Why are you always in the house? It's because every conversation I'm going to have when I leave the house will be something financial. I don't waste time with all the BS. I remember uh, a gentleman reached out to me and said he need help with his rental portfolio. I agreed to meet him uh, at a restaurant so we can discuss. We get to the restaurant I guess his basketball team in the NBA was playing or in the playoffs or something. And he was just paying attention to the game. And I'm trying to discuss his portfolio, but he's more focused on the game than his portfolio. And then in the middle of the conversation, I stopped him. I said, look, man, this right here, I can't sit here and watch other people make money when I have finance, when I'm trying to make it. These guys already made their money. You over here in a financial situation, you care about if they win the damn basketball game. And I said, look, and then I just said, look, I can't do this. I can't sit here and watch a, a sports game. I'm just going to go do something else. And I just got up and left. He still got those same financial troubles now. I don't believe in sitting here talking about, you know, sports. We're going to talk about finance. And then after we get all our finance stuff out there, then you can get me updated on sports for the last five minutes. But besides that, I don't have everybody that I'm around. We're talking money. I mean, hell, even in my house, majority of the conversations is about money. And it's not about, oh, money rules the world or money ain't everything. It's not about that. It's about we have goals and I'm 100% focused on my goals. Anything outside of that, I don't care about. So that's why I agree with him when he said people want to get together and, oh, let's just go watch the game. Let's go do this. No, I got something else to do. I mean, Alex, you know my investment philosophy, especially around the holidays and all that other crap, is I love holidays. I love four-day weekends. I love all that because I know everybody will be focused on all the what everybody say you have to do during those times. And I know they're not a focus on opportunities out there in the market. Some of the best deals I've ever got, business, real estate, stock market, the whole night. It's always been when everybody's attention was focused everywhere else. And it just gave me time to focus. I mean, I, I believe I bought maybe like five or six properties during the, you know, that holiday weekend between November and December. Because nobody was just paying attention. I didn't found, I've literally found deals. Uh, July, I mean, January 1st at like 3 o'clock in the morning because everybody's out. Uh, the last one I did, the one I did in uh, Georgia. Uh, what was that? Christmas weekend, I found out? 
Yeah. I, I found that one Christmas weekend and it was only on the market for like 12 hours. Yeah. And then I got the deal and got it done. Those just that's that's how it happens. But Alice, go ahead. You can run with it. I don't want to bore everybody. I like everything you said from start to finish. Um it's you have to decide what you have to you have to understand and people have to understand their time is limited on earth everyone's time is we're all going to die someday so use your time to your maximum potential to do something create goals there's and i i mean i see a lot of people that i i know people that don't have goals and you have to i mean it's just it, it's it's bizarre to me you have to find something in life find a purpose and dedicate yourself to that and in this case i mean Money is just the tool to create the life or the goals or build the goals that you want, build the life you want. And so talking about it is very important in order to build that dream. Because if you just dream about something with no action, then it's just a dream. You'll never get it. Everybody has dreams. But I would say 95, 99% of people, they just have dreams. That's all they have. They they have no plan or no steps ahead of them on or no knowledge of what steps to take on how to achieve those dreams. They just think about it. So they're doing nothing. And as you said, yeah, you have to <clears throat> it includes family or friends, you know, family included, like you said. And I know we did a video on Dan Pena and that might have offended some people because he said, hold uh family accountable or well even you know your own parents but in some situations it's it's necessary you have to hold them accountable there's no there's nothing that states that you are obligated to be there at every family event or you have to treat your family a certain way because they're family it, there's there's nothing on earth that says that and so if they choose to waste your time why should you treat them with any kind of respect because they're wasting your time? To me, that's ultimately disrespectful if they don't care about your goals and they're going to waste your time. And in the sense that they're making you or trying to make you feel obligated to attend an event when you have something more important to do. You have to stay focused on your goals if your goal is to continue to build, continue to grow you have to stay focused on that. There will be a time if you want to spend time with friends, spend time with family. But in the beginning stages, you have to make those ultimate sacrifices and you have to work. And, you know, that's just the unfortunate thing. There's no happy medium and people always want a happy medium. It's extreme one way or extreme the other way. That's that's the way I view it. With all that being said, we're not going to let the video run long. Uh, send all Alex hate comments down here below. If you send them <laughs> by me, I don't give a damn because yeah. I ain't going to change the way I live. I'm just sharing what I do to get to where I'm at. But with all that being said, y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Okay.